Okay, a little review today for the Shogun's tactical, well let me get it in the frame here, tactical 20 millimeter grenade launcher. Here's the whole manual, white sheet on the back, tells you how to open it up, get the shell out, how to press it to fire it, and then reload. <laughs> Simplistic. Um, doesn't really give you anything else on there, and it comes in this nice little Shogun's box and it's got the nice little Shogun's lo SG logo on here. Simplistic design uh, has a screw across here for rail. The big thing was there was no Allen key for it so it's not really a big deal. This feels like it's 3D printed just the way it feels. Okay so what you do is you pull back on this the shell comes out very light there's nothing to it um, the whole idea behind it is when you push this in place and you push forward on this the pin which is inside here which I don't know if you can even see that um, anyway there's a pin inside there let me try a light there's a pin inside there let me uh, all right when you and you press this forward the pin comes through there I don't know if that's even showing up on camera doesn't matter so the shell is a PPSH shell, six BBs going here, fill with green gas or CO2 here. I'm using green gas because I don't have a CO2 filler right now. And you go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go outside, we're going to fill it with green gas, we're going to fill it with BBs, and we're going to shoot it. Okay, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a tassel cap, it's a balmy 35 degrees here in northeastern Pennsylvania. A little cold out. Uh, safety first, working with a grenade, I want to have my eyes protected. So what we got here is the shell. I'm going to show you. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And the BBs are right there to the top. Now I already pre-filled this with, with propane, but I'll show you. There's a the little notch on this side. You basically Put your propane in there and one gotcha on this shell like some of the mad bull shells you have to press the bottom part up so it seats i found that after i shot it and i went to fill it again it's just the gas is coming out because it's not seating in there good all right so you got your six bbs in your uh shell when this is mounted on your gun be like this you push this forward or pull, I'm sorry, pull it back and this will open. The shell will go in. Well, the shell is supposed to go in. All right, the shell is in there. It is ready to fire. There is uh, supposed to be, I guess, a safety here which does nothing. I think this is supposed to be a safety. Oh, there you go. It finally went down. You're supposed to push this two levers down very hard, very stiff. This is, feels like 3D printed stuff. This will not allow this to open or close. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, this would be a lot better. Just, it barely pushes up and it's good. On a pistol, this probably would be easier to maintain and move around, and I'm going to show it on a pistol. So the firing mechanism is you push forward on this and, man, they travel. All right, I am going to load it up again, and we're going to shoot it toward my favorite target, that way. Okay, my favorite target is uh, from where I'm standing inside the garage, it's 50 feet, okay? And we're using .20s, which, what the hell else would you use .20s for except grenades? So what we're going to do is we're going to load the shell. We've loaded the shell, and we are going to, from inside, front of the camera, we're going to show shooting, if I can hold this right shooting to the garage there point two o's cover 50 feet no problem nice spread nice pattern to it very nice bottom line on this very nice product I'll put a link for it in the description one gotcha that I will tell you about JK Army has some really cool stuff but be prepared to wait a month they say 15 to 20 days that's more like 25 to 35 days. I got my products, this and something else, in 35 days. 
So be prepared for the weight if you want to get it from them. It's a really cool product, and I'm going to show a picture after this of on a, on a particular pistol. I have a, an M&P 9C compact. I'm going to put it on there so you get an idea of what it looks like. And it does fit in what I call a universal holster. I'll show a picture of that as well. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it instructional. Um, they do sell a version of this with three shells. One for this and two extra ones. It's a lot of money compared to what this is. I think this is close to like $40 with the two. It comes with one shell, the units, unit itself, and that's it. The other one I think is like $61 and that's two extra shells. The two extra shells are nice, but if you're on a pistol and you've got this on there and you've got to shoot this with a group coming at you, you're down to a last resort. So one shot is probably going to be good. You can fill this in the field. It seems like it's pretty cool. Um, that's where my review on it. But the safety is very stiff. So if you're using this, there's a safety on either. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show that. There's a safety on either side. You could click both of them up, okay, but you could put put down from either side and it will it will go down. Up a little bit and it's off safe. Real easy now on, on you gotta pull. I pulled one side down, put both up. One side went down all the way. That one all the way on the clip. This one didn't, but it still prevents you from pushing in. You push both down, they're both on the clip. They both can't fire. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going back in where it's friggin' warm. You guys enjoy airsoft and enjoy your day.